More than two decades, leaders of the Southern Baptist Convention covered up and lied about accusations of sexual abuse. That from a scathing new investigative report that the church itself commissioned. It's the largest Protestant denomination in all the country, roughly 14 million members. One former Southern Baptist leader says this is much more than just a crisis for the church. He says it's an apocalypse. The president of Southern Baptist told members to prepare for what he calls deliberate actions to address these failures. Here's NBC's Ann Thompson. This is the reckoning Hannah Kate Williams wanted when she and others asked the Southern Baptist Convention for a third party investigation of sexual abuse. Do you feel vindicated by the report? In a lot of ways, yes. She is suing the SBC for failing to take action against her father, who she says sexually abused her starting at age eight as he studied to become a pastor. I was met with, well, you're an enemy of God. It was threats, harassments. I had to move my, from my home. The lengthy report details how survivors like Williams encountered resistance, stonewalling, and even outright hostility from some in SBC leadership starting in 2000. One leader claiming it is a satanic scheme to completely distract us from evangelism. Yet investigators found one staffer compiled a secret list of accused abusers with hundreds of names. What does this do to the reputation of Southern Baptists? You know, for a group that talks a lot about sexual morality, talks a lot about men protecting women and children, I think that this uh, is obviously a very bad look and it, it is clear hypocrisy. SBC President Ed Litton says Southern Baptists must resolve to change our culture and implement desperately needed reforms. The report recommends creating and maintaining an offender information system, providing a resource toolbox with protocols and training, and making a sincere apology to survivors. Healing won't come easy. Popular evangelist Beth Moore, who left the SBC last year, today tweeting, You have betrayed your women. It's too late to make it right with me. It's not too late to make it right with them. For the news, I'm Ann Thompson.